you've heard of Donald Trump, Bill Gates, and Jay Z. They're all big names in the business world. Well, Michelle Miller introduces us to a pint sized entrepreneur who's making his name in cookies one bite at a time. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Well, his name is Corey Nieves. Remember it because he says before too long it will be a household name. Right. Every Saturday on the streets of Inglewood, New Jersey. Corey Nieves pulls his wagon cart around town, selling homemade cookies to loyal customers at boutiques, well, thank you, sir. barber shops, 25 cents to your change, and car dealerships. Two bags of chocolate chip? Okay. Even the most seasoned salesmen are impressed. What do you think about that salesmanship? Oh, it's fantastic. He's got a great spirit. From one salesman to another, you think he has a future? Oh, definitely. The 10 year old fifth grader is founder, CEO. So you want them nice and round. And head of distribution for Mr. Corey's cookies. Let it cool for about like one minute. What makes your cookies so good? Well, it's made with love. And they're all natural with no preservatives. None? None. Corey started the company five years ago after moving to New Jersey with his mother from the Bronx. One day we were on the bus and he just came out and was like, Ma, you know, I want to get a car or whatever because it's too cold. And I said, Corey, I'm going to get a car off my looks. So I told him that. <laughs> and then he said, well, we can sell hot cocoa. And then he wanted to add something to that, like something a dessert base, and he wanted to try the cookies. Did you know anything about making cookies? No, I, I, I didn't really know. I just looked it up on some Times Magazine websites, looked it up, searched them. Um, what is this? How you make that? And I didn't like the recipes, so I just started changing it around. You have a lot of chocolate chips in there. Yeah. From this tiny kitchen, he's built up a business to the point where he's had to move the operation into a commercial space. How much money is worth of cookies do you have? A lot. There's 300 cookies in there. These days, he sells up to a thousand cookies a weekend at almost a dollar a piece. Here you go. Let me get you your 50 cents. Let me incorporate the business into LLC Corporation. Because we couldn't use um, our regular kitchen unless this whole house is commercial. His mother and chief operating officer, Lisa Howard, is now legally required to do the baking. But make no mistake. One bag of chocolate chip, please. Corey is the man in charge. Would you say you have a head for business? Yes, I say I do. You deal with all the facts, the figures, mm -hmm. the books? Yes, my mom helps me sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What part do you do? I do, I look over my financials and stuff, the profit and loss statement. Okay, one back old Marie's and mom. What's it like to have him as a boss? Sometimes I said, I cannot believe my son is my boss. Like, hold on a second. And sometimes I have to correct him because he sometimes take that to the head and I have to say, hold on, Corey, I got to cut the check. You can't. So let's get it together. Having left his imprint on the culinary world. Oh, this is Pharrell. I like yeah. Pharrell, too. He's fashionable. The mini mogul is taking aim at the fashion industry. In 10 years, where do you hope to be with all this? I um, have my own like clothing line, so. In addition to the cookies? Yes, under the brand of Mr. Gores. A brand that's already led to more than 30,000 followers on Instagram and an appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Because you just didn't want to take the bus anymore. Yes. It's freezing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that he's met the original goal with the gift of a family car, Thank you. Mr. Corey is focusing on the next phase of his career. What's your next step? Um, all the new stuff that's going to come out, it's secret. Oh, we have a lot of new stuff that want to come out, G14 classified. G14 classified? Mm -hmm. What is G14? That's like highly secured, like high security. If you even like this, this bribe us, you might just go to court. Like I might, I'm, you might have to kill me if I found out about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I believe he just might. Well, Mr. Corey did tell us <laughs> Mr. Corey. he has plans to expand his distribution and is in talks with a larger food company for some G14 assistance. <laughs> he also has his uh, eyes set for a future in education. He wants to go to Princeton. In Princeton, New Jersey. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Yeah. Love now, everything about him and his mom. Oh, yeah. she's awesome. And his mom. Oh, what a great mother she's been. But I wanted you to test the merchandise, the product. So 
Nora was over here trying to nibble I know, I already tried to test before, it and she slapped my take, hand away. Take, yeah. take a nibble, that's the... Um, oh, wow. That's the chocolate mm, chip man. and that's the uh, oatmeal raisin. What what do you think? Does he do right. oatmeal raisins? Yeah, that's it. That would it. be my request. Okay. That's the oatmeal that raisin. I love that he already no, that's has the chocolate the, chip. I love that he already has a brand. Go Mr. Corey and go Lisa. We yes. are cheering you on. Cheering Thank you on, indeed. You are quite welcome.